hip shapes. Can hip come to the north and hip goes to the south? Let's even get into that a little bit. Hip comes up toward the north. You can cross your arms in front if you want. And can the waist really deliver that? You know, both sides of the waist are helping go north and south. All right. How about forward and back with that hip? The high point of the hip goes back. The high point of the hip goes forward. Okay, that upper leg, it's almost like you're a, like a grasshopper. You're, you're uh, rubbing the, your inner thighs. As the hip goes forward, that upper knee pushes forward. As the hip goes back, that upper knee is dragged back. But it's a waist movement. It's a torso movement. The, the amnesia is most lodged in the torso. Free your torso. Free, regain control of the torso. Now let's trace out a square. Hip comes up, hip goes forward, hip goes down, hip goes back, hip goes up, hip goes forward. Maybe try the other direction. Hip goes back, hip goes down, hip goes forward, hip goes up. Try the diagonals. Hip goes out in front of your chest. So hip goes, hip goes up and forward, and then hip goes down and back. Where is it limiting? Where's the constriction that's not letting that movement happen? Close that place that was constricting. Find that closing. And can it open to allow you to deliver that hip all the way down? The breath could come in to help the distance open. We have that diagonal. Let's try the other diagonal. Hip goes up behind your shoulder, and hip goes out. It pushes the upper knee out past the lower knee. We're doing this diagonal. Up and back, down and forward. Go easy, easy, easy. OK. Let's try a circle. We're going to just do a gentle circle with the hip. Slow. Go slowly and carefully enough you could see where the lack of control is. Slow it down. Slower will reveal more. More of the amnesia. Go gentle on yourself. Don't get discouraged. Uh, this, is, this is so valuable what you're doing to just master the waist, okay? Many, many, many people lose control of their waist. If you have a hip problem, most important is to regain control of the waist in all these vectors, okay? And maybe try a backpedaling circle. We're just going gently. If arms are crossed in front, that really, because sometimes people will cheat. They're trying to get their hip back. They'll roll the whole torso. We don't want to cheat. We want to, we want to really live up to the test and, and go small. Can the shoulders be still and the hip is making a circle? Gentle, gentle, gentle. Can you see each, each place that's contracting as you go around in that circle? One line is opening and one line is closing at every moment. A new line is opening and a new line is closing. Beautiful. And now lie down on your back. Compare the two sides. I invite you to also try on both shoulders, both hips. I'm Eric Cooper. Thank you very much for practicing with me today. Blessings on your journey.